Hello everyone, Semi-Retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, also welcome. This is going to be a bit of a different kind of a video. I am still down here in North Carolina because it is still Saturday. This is the third video I've recorded today, trying to get content for you guys next week. And I came up with an idea. I haven't done any camera type stuff in a while. So I'm going to show you a new piece of camera stuff that I bought specifically for hiking and walking. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of new stretches I've been doing as well at the end. So it was a little bit of a camera video, a little bit of a stretching video. I hope you enjoy this. Um, if not, sorry, I'll see you in the next one if you're not wild about this kind of stuff. Let me raise this tripod up a little bit so that you can see. Oh, Got to lower it down just a little bit up front. But uh, this is what I've got here. This is the Peak Designs capture clip for the camera. Um, I have several things by Peak Designs, including my camera bag itself is a is a peak design you can see I'll give you a quick tour here my main camera cleaning supplies a couple of lenses some lens covers and filters more filters and extra batteries and SD cards but the idea of this is this clip goes onto the bottom of your camera where your normally a tripod mount would go and then this mounts to the shoulder strap of your backpack with a locking mechanism on it so that it can't just fall off and one of my favorite peak design things here on the camera that I have are these uh, the peak design strap because what can happen with straps is you decide to set up on a tripod and the wind is blowing, the wind catching on your camera strap can make things shake a little bit. So with this peak design, I don't know if you can see real well. Let me see if I can't hold this up just a little bit. It's got a it's got a little button hook thing on it here, so you just push down on that. I have to pull it back down here where I can reach it properly, but it it just slides out like so, so that you can disconnect and reconnect your strap easily while you're uh, on a tripod. And then to get it back in, you just push, push that back in and boom, your strap is reconnected to your camera. But I'm gonna go ahead and install this plate onto my camera and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, I've got that installed. This is the plate off of my big tripod, so I've got to remember to put that back on the tripod so I don't lose that. And now this, you just unscrew these and one side of this, this side, flips up and out so that you can just take the plate you just have to kind of squish your strap down a little bit into it. This is a little bit thick. Let me go ahead and put this on there and see if I can make it. Let's actually, let's put it up here so that it doesn't, uh, no. That's the one I want it on right there. So you put it on there. Flip it around that way. You got to make sure that the the catch stop is to, towards the ground. And then you tighten this all up. See, you still hear that flag banging into the door. It's running so hard out there. Oh, that's. A little off center, but let's see if that works. I might have to readjust it. Let me put my backpack on here. 
I'm not going to strap it all the way up. But I might even have to go, yeah, I'm going to have to take that down. I want that down lower. That's still a little bit too high. That's not going to work out right. Okay, so after I get this adjusted, I'll be back with you. Okay, so I got it all set up now. Normally, or you know, you'd be walking down the trail or walking wherever you're at, your cameras bouncing all over the place, putting stress on your neck. Um, with the new Peak Design capture clip, it's got the plate there. I need to still get a Peak Designs tripod, but they're a little on the pricey side. Once I have the Peak Designs tripod, I won't have to change because the plate is the same for this capture clip and the, the their tripod. But uh, you can see it's right there, and you just it slides in and locks into place. So now your camera's there. All the weight is on the backpack strap. It's still going to be a little heavier on the shoulder, but at least you're not getting all that pressure on your neck. I'm probably going to leave the the strap. When I'm hiking with my camera there, I'm not taking this on the Appalachian Trail when I go, of course, but, uh, but you know, when I'm out just doing day trips, taking some photography stuff, I figure this pack will be fine for that because I know my camera pack fits inside this pack along with first aid kit, water, and uh, emergency beacons any type of first aid kit I might need, maybe a spare pair of socks and my rain gear, that kind of stuff, just on a day trip to go out and take uh, photos, which I plan on doing a lot of as we go. But with this, you know, when it's time to take it off and take a picture, you just grab a hold of it. There's a little button back here. You push in on that, which unlocks it. You slide it right out and boom, you are ready to take pictures. And then when you're done, you're ready to move on down the trail. You just slide that back in and it locks. You don't have to push the button to put it down in there. So that's what I've got for camera stuff today. Give me just a second to get all this stuff put away. And I'll show you a couple of, one of the stretches I've been doing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my camera stuff for this, for this video. I hope you enjoyed that quick little camera. Now let me get switched over and we'll do some, uh, some stretching. Of course, with the magic of editing, it'll be like I was never gone. Now this is not, well this is a beginner stretch. What I'm going to show you after this is not a beginner stretch. But, uh, just put your leg up on there. My knee still doesn't quite straighten all the way, but that's okay. You don't want it to. With your toe pointing towards the sky, just reach down and grab a hold of it. Don't bounce. You should feel a stretch back here. And then you can point your toe and lean into it a little bit more. Like so. And then sideways as well. You want to kind of stand up straight and then lean over a little bit. You should feel a stretch on the inside of this thigh. And then to get the stretch over here as well, just bend your knee a little bit there. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Now this is Bob just showing off a little bit, but now remember this is not a beginner stretch, this version of it. Um, remember I told you I danced for years, so I still have quite a bit more flexibility than a lot of people my age have. So what I like to do, and the reason I took my shoes off for this is because I think putting my shoes on this counter that's a little bit higher than waist high would be kind of rude. Oops. And now you can do the same thing here. Face the leg, point your toe up, grab a hold of it. Now you're getting a good stretch on the back of your leg. And then you can turn sideways. Bend your knee, get a good inner thigh stretch with both of them. And then of course you do the same on the other side. 
I'm looking forward to when that knee actually gets the rest of the way straight. It's not quite all the way straight. It's fairly close, but it's not all the way there. But uh, that's some of the stretches I've been doing because as I've told you, I would like to get back to dancing this year when I get back to Omaha. So we will see how that goes. Oh, that's not a good spot. That'll be all right. But I hope a couple new stretches, and like I said, I would start on a chair and then find things that gradually let your leg get higher. Um, of course, I'm not one of these young, flexible ballerinas. My leg doesn't go all the way up to here. My arm doesn't even go all the way up to here. But start with whatever feels like a stretch to you and just slowly push into it a little bit more each day and eventually you'll get back to much better flexibility. I know I have. I, uh, cause when I first started doing these stretches again, a couple of months ago, I could barely get my leg up on that chair to stretch. And now you see I'm back to counter height, which is just a little bit above my waist. I'm looking forward to <clears throat> getting back to the dance studio sometime midsummer, late, early fall and seeing if I can't get my leg all the way up onto the top bar, which is just a little bit below my shoulder height. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. This is kind of a goofy, strange kind of a video, but I, uh, I had this idea while I was sitting there getting ready to pack everything up to, to get moving and thought, eh, let's go ahead and throw it together since we weren't going to have a video on Tuesday anyway. Let's go ahead and throw this out there, get it uploaded, and see what people think. If you'd like to see more camera style videos, let me know. I'll be happy to throw some more of those in there because I've got a lot of things in my camera bag that I've never reviewed, and I'd be happy to share those with you at some point. But that's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget to get out there. Be 1% better each and every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you next time.